Hey, this is Mike from Helium Street, and welcome once again to another episode of the Purple Series. Now, if you recall, what we're doing with the Purple Series uh, is that we're attaching outdoor enclosures to a 30-foot telescoping pole. So this gets this installation outside, uh, and we get that antenna way up in the air. In this case, 30 feet. This specific video is all about the Rack Wireless. Okay, it's the Rack Wireless makes an outdoor enclosure for the Rack version 2 Helium Hotspot Miner. That's, this is what this whole video is all about. We're talking about that specific enclosure. Now, if you're interested in an outdoor enclosure that's specifically designed for the Bobcat, click this link right here, and that'll take you to that video. But this is gonna be just for that rack unit. And so, this is a really great outdoor enclosure that Rack Wireless makes. Uh, as you can see, it's this is an aluminum cast uh, enclosure. Not only is the base unit uh, aluminum, but also that lid. It's all powder coated white. And it comes with all the parts and the pieces that you need to be able to get yourself going here. Now, it comes with a PoE splitter and a PoE injector. Okay, so that's everything you need to run this system uh, power over Ethernet. It also comes with zip ties, the PVC tape, and also the waterproofing tape to, for your, both of your connections, both your Ethernet and your antenna connection. And it also comes with an internal cable that connects that uh, antenna through uh, coax that you would purchase through MPD Digital to the top of the enclosure. And then there's a pigtail on the inside of the unit that just jumps from that antenna right into your miner. Okay, kind of looks like this. Uh, this happens to be the jumper wire that comes with your 5.8 antenna uh, from Rack Wireless, 5.8 DBI. This is the jumper wire that comes with that bundle. This is a really nice setup also. Uh, so you might want to get this enclosure and this 5.8, that would be a really good combination. Um, I use that a lot in a lot of our installations at Helium Street. All right, we're getting here at this site, getting going. Uh, we set the post already. This is the telescoping flagpole, 30 foot. Uh, we had Miss Dig come out just to make sure that we weren't uh, gonna get into anything. Uh, because there are some power lines here that are relatively close. So, like I said, we're getting ready to uh, set the rack outdoor uh, enclosure kit uh, from rack. And we're going to be feeding this uh, rack version 2 with a PoE. So we're not going to be running uh, power out to this location. We're going to only be running Cat 6. So here's the enclosure. And um, here we go. So I'm putting together the uh, rack outdoor enclosure. I've pretty much put the brackets together. It's pretty obvious how this all this all assembles. You will have plugs that you will be applying for uh, the various uh, holes that are in the top of the unit. I am going to going to use this N type um, this N type female connection that has the pigtail on it that could then connects to the rack unit inside. I'm also using the provided PoE uh, jumper that comes with this unit. I mean, it, it really comes with everything that you need, it, especially if you're going to be going uh, PoE because it has the injector, which I already have the injector plugged in because I, I've already taken my miner to the site. It's already synced to the blockchain and it's basically sitting there on the router uh, ready to go. And so I don't have it, but I have this, this rack unit here with me just for demonstration. So basically what you do to, uh, to ba basically a attach this inside of the unit is you use this provided uh, plate and take out these screws right here, right here, right here, and right here. Don't, don't crack the case open. Uh, but what you will do is you'll you'll set it on to this backing plate, and then you'll use the same screws that you took out to go and back through the back side, uh, right here, right here, right here, and right here, and that, and then you basically bolt this on so that it's this rack unit is fixed to this this backing plate, okay? And then you take the backing plate and the rack unit that has been assembled together. And then you assemble this inside with the provided screws. And then it's all completely secure. Um, once it's in there, then you take your jumper and you connect it to your 
um, RPSMA female right here. And you also connect your PoE uh, injected ethernet jumper into the back right here. It takes these stainless steel bolts right here coming in from the back side at all these different locations and that fixes this cover onto this case. And so if you ever need to get in here, you're going to have to take off 12 screws to get to your unit. Once you get synced and you're up on the blockchain and everything, um, and you need to power your unit off, you can just go back to the router and do that. So I don't really think that's a big, big issue, but it's very secure. We'll give, it, give them that for sure. All right, so here's the basic installation with a uh, rack, um, rack hotspot uh, enclosure. So we're gonna uh, be installing this PoE so I don't have any power coming into this except for through the ethernet. And so we've trenched uh, ethernet in. You can see the line going back. We had Miss Dig come out, make sure that we weren't getting getting anything. We were careful with the homeowner's uh, property and got it run into the house, into the router. And it's a good sign because we've got power out to our PoE splitter. And as you can see, the the splitter basically takes that ethernet that comes in underground here. You can see it run up the pole and then it goes into this little fitting that goes into the bottom of the this aluminum rack hotspot. Um, and what we do is we then run into this splitter and then at the end of the splitter you've got the power and you've got ethernet and then this plate then gets basically put right in and, that, and then I'll show you how that is once it's installed. And here it is. We've got it all uh, bolted in and all of these uh, screws are in place. They even uh, send along a few zip ties to have that splitter go snug up against that back plate. I don't have my waterproofing on yet, but of course that will come. I have yet to telescope my pole up 30 feet, but my N-Type uh, MPD 400, which is the same as the LMR 400, is attached both to the antenna uh, and also to the top of the rack enclosure. And then there's a jumper wire that attaches up on inside there to this uh, fitting that goes on the top. And then that just has a small jumper into the top for the antenna connection. And then this uh, plate will then will get attached with the provided screws. All right, just wrapped up this installation. Uh, we did the rack enclosure running uh, MPD 400 up the pole. So this is a 30 foot flagpole with a camouflage sleeve. And uh, this was a great installation. Uh, we just finished it up and uh, the homeowner's happy with the fact that you can really can't see this installation at all. Uh, it's on the edge of a wood line and we're really, really happy with this installation. Of course, we're, we're leaving the case white so that it reflects the sunlight so that this uh, unit doesn't get overheat. But yeah, good installation. Okay, good. So I hope that video was helpful for you. Now, um, if you want to find out more about all the parts and the pieces, uh, discount codes and, and all that type of stuff, then you're going to want to go to heliumstreet.com and you're going to want to go into the purple series tab and then you're going to see all the different links that you need right there. Uh, you can access heliumstreet.com from either desktop or mobile. And hey, one thing that you know we don't talk about a lot here and that is if you got anything out of this, please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon, okay? Uh, that's really important for us to be able to get our content out to more of the helium fanatics that are out there uh, because the more miners that we have, the more witnesses we'll have. So uh, in your community, in my community. So hey, thanks for being here and we'll see you in the next one.